So Dr. Benjamin Mills here. Got a question why I don't sell probiotics on uh, my social media, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and anything like that. And so I've been talking a lot about digestive health. Uh, probiotics are a big topic. Everybody's talking about probiotics. Everybody's got a probiotic to sell you. And um, I want to talk about why I am not a huge fan of probiotics. First of all, do I avoid probiotics completely? No, I like to drink kombucha every once in a while, have some sauerkraut, have some fermented foods. Definitely stay away from any dairy-involved fermented foods. Like, okay, there's good bacteria in them, but then there's all this uh, other stuff that comes with dairy as far as hormones, casein, saturated fat, um, and things like that. So fermented foods, awesome if they're plant-based. Uh, still just as bad if they're dairy-based, not worth all the other junk that comes in the package with dairy. Um, so, of course, having a healthy gut microbiome is very clutch for digestive health, super important. But the data is pretty clear that um, just slamming probiotics is not going to make a big change in your gut flora. That just eating uh, healthy bacteria is not going to make a big difference. The more important thing is the food that the bacteria eat, because the healthy bacteria will eat the healthy food. And if you continue to feed it, junk food, if you continue to feed it, animal products, meat, fish, dairy, eggs, fowl, etc., uh, you're going to continue to have unhealthy gut microbiome that's going to continue to cause you digestive issues. And so the data is pretty clear that the food that you feed it is way more important than actually taking probiotics. Because if you take probiotics and you don't feed them the proper food that's going to actually facilitate the growth of the good bacteria, they're just going to die off. And so you're asking me, like, what is the food for the good bacteria? The answer, for the most part, is fiber, okay? That is also known as a prebiotic. So your body can't digest fiber, per se, but the microbes in your gut sure as heck to love to eat them some fiber. It's like that is like the number one thing. So what foods have fiber? This is pretty simple, guys, okay? All plant foods in their whole form have fiber, all right? If it's something like a white bread or a, um, a kind of like refined cereal or any kind of refined food, usually they have the any kind of oil, okay? It doesn't have any fiber in it because they've refined it out. So we're talking whole plant foods, fruits, vegetables, whole grains, legumes, uh, nuts, seeds. These things all have fiber. Any refined food generally has the fiber taken out. That's part of the refining process. And then, of course, all animal foods do not have fiber. Meat doesn't have fiber. Fish doesn't have fiber. Eggs don't have fiber. Dairy doesn't have fiber, okay? So there's nothing for the good bacteria to eat with those foods. So you can slam all the probiotics you want, but if you're eating like refined foods and, and animal foods, it, like the good bacteria have nothing to grow on. And so this is why I'm not a huge fan of like probiotics. This is why I don't sell a probiotic. Because let me tell you, I've dealt with my own digestive issues for years, for years, for years, for years. I'm finally healed from it. And <laughs> I... <d> <laughs> Took a lot of probiotics in that time. Let me tell you, didn't help. So the things that help the most are the food that you feed it and also working with the nervous system and various other um, lifestyle habits that are huge and important for digestion. So if you're interested to learn more about that, I created a, uh, a new guide. It's called the Digestive Rescue Blueprint. I'm really, really stoked about it. I know in the last video, I think I put like a bad link up for it. But this time we got the real link. I want you guys to check this out. I want feedback on it. Uh, basically, you sign up for my email list. You get the free guide. I think it's really good. I've been working on it for a while. There's a lot of great information in there that no one else is talking about because everyone wants to just sell you some probiotic that ain't really going to do anything because a lot of these people have never dealt with digestive issues themselves. And I'm here to say, like, I had it bad and I recovered from it. And this is the guide that I wish I would have had eight years ago. So I'm really excited to share it with you guys. I hope you check it out. Again, it's the Digestive Rescue Blueprint. Thanks for watching this video. If you haven't already, give it a thumbs up, give it a like, subscribe to this channel if you haven't, and I will catch you guys next video. Thanks for watching. If you're suffering from digestive issues like IBS, leaky gut, Crohn's disease, or ulcerative colitis, I've created a special gift for you. It's my Digestive Rescue Blueprint, yours free when you sign up for my email list. As someone who suffered from terrible digestive issues for many years, I know what you're going through. And I created this guide with the information I wish I could have had all those years ago.